Um, what fits in this bag? Nothing. What's up? It's Monica and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Breaking Down the Bag, but this one's a little different. We're not focusing on one bag. Instead, I'm focusing on my favorite mini bags and micro bags and the bags I won't touch. So normally I don't kind of like share things that I don't like because I really don't want to offend anybody, but this is just me. So please, <laughs> no one take offense to you know, the bags that I don't, I wouldn't get or I wouldn't buy. Um, but really it's just more so I wanted to share the mini bags that I'm obsessed with. You guys know I love mini bags. I love micro bags. Sometimes they don't make sense, but it's fashion. So if that sounds like a vibe to you, keep on watching. Um, if you're new to my channel, what's up? I'm Monica and I'm a fashion lifestyle blogger based out of Atlanta. And if you love fashion, fashion and more fashion, especially high, low fashion, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Um, let's get into the video because I have 10 bags that I want to share. They're all amazing. I love them all. I have more than 10 mini bags, <laughs> um, but I really wanted to just share my 10 favorites. I'm going to share four that I'm coveting and the four that I will not touch. So make sure you watch everything to the end. Let's get into it. Okay, so I did a little poll on Instagram just kind of wanting to know what you guys want to know about these bags because in my head, I'm just like, yeah, it's a bag. It's, you know, and I, I, I already know the fabrics and everything and all of that. So... I tend to kind of overlook what the average person would want. So I asked my sisters, I got on Instagram, and I got about 10 questions for each bag that I'm gonna go over with every bag. I'm gonna try not to talk too much, so this won't be too long. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to my computer because my laptop's there because I need to read out the questions. I don't have my glasses on, so bear with me, but we, we got this. <laughs> okay, so the first bag I'm going to go over is my Fendi First Nano Micro Bag. I love the bag. So, first up, what fits inside the bag? Um, <laughs> what fits in this bag? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, I'm kidding. Um, there is one thing you can get into the... Actually, no, I take that back. Two things. So, we can get two things inside the Fendi First Nano Micro Bag. Your AirPods. That's honestly the only real thing you can get in there. And you can get cash in there. Um, when I originally bought this bag, I bought it because it's chocolate brown. I wanted a, a chocolate brown bag that would go with a pair of shoes that I had and just something fun. In my head, I thought my credit card would fit. Credit cards don't fit. I've tried. Um, your room key won't fit um, because I did. I got it for a trip. None of that fits. So really, it has to be like receipts or paper or anything that you can wrap up and throw in there. It's super tiny. You would think that it would fit more because of the width at the bottom, but it's the opening on the top that mimics the regular size Fendi first. Got one there. Got one there. But this one... I love the bag. It's it's not functional. Actually, I should go over all the, the questions first. So what fits inside the bag? Just this or cash. Um, is it useful or strictly fashion? Technically, for the iPod, it is useful in that sense. I do have my little Chanel iPod case holder that I use more so. And I find it to be very easy because you've got the little opening. I'm not featuring this bag. That's why I'm telling you guys about this real quick. Um, so... Is it, I would say honestly it's fashion, pure fashion because nothing really goes in into it. You know, you've got your little keychain holder at the back so you can actually put it on your Fendi first or your peekaboo and kind of, you know, just hang it off that way. The strap is removable if I'm correct. Yes, it's removable so that's a fun thing about it but it really is a fashion piece for me. I wear it like, you know, body jewelry so. It's definitely fashion. Does it have a crossbody? Yes, it has the crossbody. I mentioned that the crossbody is a little dainty. So keep that in mind if you decide to get it. But it's removable. I like that as well. Where would I wear it to? I wear it with outfits. I just, I've, I've, I feel like I've 
worn it so many different ways. I'll try and um, insert like one or two pictures of how I've worn it. And I wear this in addition to a bag. I don't wear it alone because it's not functional, but I'll wear it more so as body jewelry, especially because it's got the gold um, chain. Um, good for travel, not necessarily. I would say no because it doesn't give you the easy access to your eye, um, ear pods in case you wanted to use it that way. So I would say no for travel. What seasons can we wear the, or can we use it all year round? I, I'm going to wear this all year round. I wore it all summer. I'm going to wear it all fall, winter. Um, durability. The leather itself, it's great leather. It's calfskin. Great leather, functional. You have all the features of the Fendi First in the regular size, which if you haven't watched my Fendi First Breaking Down the Bag, make sure you watch it. It's really good, especially if you're considering buying it. Even if you have it, watch it because you might learn something. Anywho, um, durability, yes. The chain strap is a little dainty, but I've worn it quite a few times, and so far so good. Knock on wood. So, um, why I love it, I love it just, it's fun, it's fashion. I love this silhouette to begin with. I feel like it's, it's hard to create something this small that's so detailed, and I love that about the bag. Um, it is a little pricey. I cannot remember the price off the top of my head. Of course, I will have the prices running through. Do I regret buying it? No, because I wear it a lot. I don't regret buying it. Would I buy it again? I don't know. I don't know if I would buy it again because it really doesn't fit anything, and I at least want it to fit my cards. Um, so yeah, that's left. I don't know. I still love it. So I guess I would buy it again on to the next All right next we've got the Valentino one stud bag. This bag was not on my radar This was my sister when I was in Toronto. I picked this up. Um, I love the bag <laughs> I love the bag. Uh, I know I'm jumping around because I do have an order and I need to stick to the order I'm gonna try and stick to the order, but yes Valentino one stud. Um, let's see what fits in the bag. This bag actually fits a lot more than the other bag that I just shared. This is kind of, I guess this is like the authenticity card and whatever. So it's got plenty of space. As you can see, you've got two compartments. You've got the magnetic closure. You've got the gold chain. Um, does it come off? I think it does. I think you can take the, yeah, you can. So you can take the strap off. I was just shooting with another Valentino bag of mine and I couldn't figure out how to get the strap off. But that strap can come off because once you undo that, or you can just kind of pull it in, but I don't understand why anyone would want to take the chain off because it really is functional. It's for the chain. Uh, let's see what fits in here. This is kind of my wallet. I don't carry a lot of stuff. That won't fit in there, but your credit card will fit, fit in there. Let's just grab a card real quick. So my American Express fits in there really good. I've got plenty of space for all my cards, so that's great. Lipstick. Oh, can we have a moment for this lipstick? <laughs> it's from Lancome. I cannot remember the name off the top of my head, but I will insert it. Actually, my whole entire face beat is, with, is from Lancome. I am a Lancome partner and trying out something new, one of their newer foundations, the Tit Adult, and I'm obsessed. Of course, I would link everything because it's so good. Oh, the skin is going. Anywho, lipstick. <laughs> uh, we've got so many lipsticks here. I wanted to put the Lancome one, but it's upstairs. So it could fit one lipstick, two lipsticks. So it can fit some lipsticks in there. Um, iPod. I guess, actually, no, I can put the iPod in the first. Yeah, so it fits all of it and it closes. And I feel like I still have space for a little bit more. So this is a great mini nano bag and it takes a lot. Um, is it useful or strictly fashion? It is useful and it's fashion. I love the color. I'm attracted to bright colors um, and great neutrals as well. I feel like this wall is my neutral wall. But to me, this is just, it's, it's a fashion piece because it's so colorful. Um, if it's not this color, you can do the pink. There's some other colors. I actually contemplated buying two and wearing them that way. I didn't, um, but it's something that I probably still will do. But yes, they are functional because you can get a lot if you're going to a club or you're going somewhere where you don't want a lot to hold. This is great. You can put, you know, your credit card, your essentials, AirPod, whatever, lipstick in there. Um, does it have a crossbody? Yes. Where would I wear it to? I just said um, evening, day, or night. Both. Absolutely. I would wear this during the day. I would wear it at night. Good for travel? I would say yes, but you would actually need another bag. So this would kind of be the bag on your body, and then you would need your travel carry-on bag, like your handbag, because this is not going to take your passports or any of that other stuff. What seasons can I wear it? Um, I would wear I've worn it pretty much the whole summer. 
I'm definitely gonna wear it into the fall. I'm laughing because I bought a pair of Balenciaga boots in a very similar color. I haven't received the boots yet, but I will share them in a luxury haul coming up, so stay tuned. Um, durability, pretty durable. The skin is, a, um, the leather is a bit more delicate, so I think this is lambskin. I don't know the type of leather off the top of my head, but I see a few dents here and there. Um, I do take good care of my bags. I don't pamper my bags. I use my bags. I believe in using your bags. They're, this is not just display. Like, I use everything. Someone was asking me what was my most used bag, and I honestly couldn't answer that because I use all my bags depending on my mood and depending on what I'm wearing, but I try to make sure if it's on this wall, I'm using it. So durability, I would say uh, be careful because even though I'm a pretty... A, pretty good with my bags I'm, I'm seeing you know little indents in the skin um, and you know it's a lighter color so you're starting I'm starting to see a little bit of dirt which I usually don't see on my bags but like I said I've used it um, why I love it I, I love the color I love the chain I love the one stud you know it's recognizable that it's Valentino but it's not in your face and I kind of like that I have my moments where I'm like give me all the logo but every now and then I just want something to be a bit more subtle but you know still recognizable being honest. Um, do I regret buying it? Absolutely not. I was with my sisters in Toronto and I bought it. If you guys haven't seen that vlog, it's my Toronto vlog. Make sure you watch it. It was really fun. Um, I love to shop. <laughs> Clearly, I love to shop, but it's always so much better when you're shopping with other people. And we all went crazy that day. So yeah, it was fun. And I would buy it again and do the whole thing again in a heartbeat. On to the next. Next, we've got the Chanel mini flap, a classic. Um, what fits in the bag? I feel like this is one that everyone knows because I, I was going to say everyone has one of these, but um, I take that back. No, not everyone has one of these. Um, to me, this is like, you know, a good size bag in my opinion. Uh, what fits? My wallet and keys. They fit in there with plenty of space left. Cell phone, this is an iPhone 13 Pro, so it's the big one. It fits with a lot of space. Left, uh, lipstick, where did I put that lipstick? Actually, let's do two lip glosses. They're a little bit bigger. They fit, oh, even standing up, look at that. They fit standing up. Um, yeah, and there's still space for a little bit more. So if there was something else, maybe the ear pods or whatnot would also fit in there. So it's definitely a good size bag and it fits a good amount of stuff. Does it have a crossbody? Yes, it is a crossbody. Where would, um, where would, where would I wear it to? Evening, day, everything. I wear this bag all the time. I am getting my cost for wear. I will continue to wear the bag. It is a classic. I bought the bag before all of those ridiculous price increases. Um, it was still up there. I think it was four or something when I got it, and now it's like four four. So it's still it was still it was still a lot, if I'm correct. It was still a lot, but um, it was the color. It was the color for me. But even with the color, I would wear it all year round. Um, good for travel. Yes, it's good for travel. You can still fit a passport in here. However, you know, it doesn't take much. So if you travel like I travel, then it's probably not the best for travel. But if you travel light like most people do, um, then yes, it's a great travel bag. I've traveled with it many times. I've stuffed it when I travel and then I put it in my carry-on because it's such a classic. I would not want to just put it in my regular check-in and risk, you know, losing it because these bags are, are, are still, they're kind of hard to, you know, come across. Um, durability or what seasons? I did say the seasons all year round, undoubtedly. I, I'm a pink girl, so all year round. Um, durability, it's lambskin, so lambskin is a little bit more delicate. Um, I'm trying to be good with it. I tend to go for bags that have a bit more texture, more of a grain, um, that are a little bit more durable, but, you know, it's a classic Chanel, so why not? Um, why I love it, everything. It's classic, it's timeless, it's already appreciating. If I turned around to sell this, I bet, I, I'm sure I would make every penny back, which is not necessarily why I buy these bags, but, you know, just in case. Do I regret buying it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I bought it on a mistake. I've said this, I've shared this story with you guys. Watch my other bags and I'll tell you all about it. But um, let's keep on going because we've got a few more to go. All right, next up we've got my Fendi Mini Peekaboo. I see you. <laughs> I'm gonna do that in a minute. 
You don't say I haven't done that in a minute, but I have. <laughs> Anywho, I love this bag. I love this bag. This is a great bag because even though it's considered their mini, I've got the regular size somewhere up there. Ugh. It's behind everything. Sorry, guys. If I bring it down, everything will fall. <laughs> but yes, the mini size I love. I really, really, really love this bag. It's absolutely stunning. The color's amazing. It comes in an array of different colors. Um, it really mimics... The regular size in the ICU. I have the East West, um, but I just feel like this bag is absolutely stunning. It has all the same features of the Fendi Peekaboo, the closures. Um, it comes with its own little raincoat, two huge pockets. It's got feet. It's got a a crossbody option that's um, detachable. Um, what fits in the bag? It fits a lot. Like this one. Definitely, I have I have receipts in there already. Like I, I like I said, I use my bags. That one phone goes in. This is my smaller phone. I think this is like an iPhone 11 uh, work phone. And then even my 13 Pro does fit in there. It's a little tighter fit, um, and it pulls just. I don't know if you can see that. So just a little bit. You can see the indent of the phone. So that's what happens when you put the bigger phone in there. I really hold my phone. I don't really put my phone in my bag, but it's nice to have the option. If I put it in standing up, then I have a lot more space. Um, what else do I... So when I go out, I really don't go out with much. So it's always hard to do these what fits in your bag. But I'm trying to give you guys a visual. Um, you can fit perfume in there. Let's see. And then you just have to maneuver it when you start to put like bigger, bulkier things. And it won't necessarily close like that with something that's that bulky. But if you wanted to put like hand lotion in a smaller size, it fits well. So you've got your hand lotion that fits in there. Everything lays straight. You can put tons of receipts. You have the phone and you can still close it with, you know, that smaller phone, my wallet. Um... If you have a smaller notepad, it would fit in there as well. So yeah, it does fit a good amount of stuff. It does. Okay, does it have a crossbody? Yes, I mentioned that. Where would I wear it to? Everywhere. Literally everywhere. I've worn it from day to night. I've worn them for day events. I've, I've worn it for, I said them. Yeah, I've worn it, I've worn it for day events. I've worn it for evening events. Um, if I wanted to make it a bit more chic and classy for the evening, I'd just take my strap off. Um, otherwise, sometimes I even like to just let the strap hang. Um, good for travel. It's another one of those bags where, yes, it would fit your passport, so it's good for travel in that sense, but it doesn't fit a lot of stuff. So if you travel with a lot, no, not necessarily good for travel. What seasons can we wear it? I have this beautiful orange. Um, I don't believe in, I, I don't believe that you can't wear color all year round, so I wear color all year round. If the bright orange is too bright for you into the fall, then, you know, it comes in a variety of other colors, but why not, like... Gone were the days where we don't wear bright colors in the fall and winter. We do that now. Durability, pretty durable. Um, it's wearing really well, considering I do wear it a lot. Just like the um, Peekaboo ICU that I have. It's in calf skin, durable leather. I love it. It has its own little raincoat, so it protects it. Why I love it, I just love everything about it. I'm a huge fan of the Peekaboo. It's a top handle bag. They're classic. It just looks, to me, it just reeks chic, money, expensive. I love it. Um, do I ever get buying it? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Derek knows I love this bag. Um, yes. Oh, in case you're wondering who's Derek, that's my uh, Fendi person. So if you guys need a person at Fendi, let me know. Actually, I'll leave his information on um, in the description box because all my Fendi bags, he got all, literally all my bags, all my Fendi bags. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. On to the next. Okay, so next we've got the Gucci um, mini bamboo 19, is it 46 or 45? I can't remember, or 47. I'm going to have the information on the bottom because I can't remember. But I love this bag. I am obsessed with this bag. I love, love, love the bag. What fits in the bag? Let's see. Well, its own strap fits in the bag. Oh, another thing I didn't mention about the Fendi Peekaboo, it also has card slots, so you can fit all your credit cards in case you don't want to bring a wallet. Um, this beauty here is one, just one little pocket or one, um, compartment. It has two, no, one card slot, so you can put a card in there. Um, will my wallet fit? Yes, it's a t somewhat of a tight fit. Even though the bag is not super small, it actually doesn't fit a lot. So this 
is a great dinner bag or it's a great bag if you are going to a day event where you don't want to carry a lot you can easily put your one special card that ever that you need or your id you can put that in there um it would definitely fit the ear pod it won't fit a phone let's see I can put that smaller iPhone 11 in here, but it's, it's it's really a tight fit. So it doesn't fit a lot. So keep that in mind. But it does come with um, two straps. So it comes with its own strap. Well, both of the straps came with it. So it comes with this thin strap. And it also comes with a green and red um, classic Gucci strap. I would show you guys the strap, but I have no idea where I put it, like literally. <laughs> Um, I have not used the strap, but I feel like the strap is a great addition to make it um, a day look. I will insert a picture of the bag with the strap. Hopefully they have one online because I'm just saying that I'm going to insert it, but I'm not sure if they have it. I'm sure they have it. But anyway, that's what it looks like with the casual strap. Um, is it useful or strictly fashion? Very useful. I've worn this to dinner many times. I don't think I've worn it during the day. I've styled it for day looks in my hauls, but I don't think I've worn it for the day in real life. But for someone like me who doesn't carry a lot, it would definitely work as a day bag as well. Uh, does it have a crossbody? Yes. Where would you wear it to? To the park, to dinner. I've worn it to dinner so many different ways. I've styled it so many ways on my Instagram page. Guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, it's odd by Moni. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. So tons of style inspo basically in between these videos. And you get to... You know travel with me and hang out with me as a fashion and lifestyle content creator I've also started sharing daily affirmations I used to do that like back in the day like I've been doing this for 10 years so I used to do it a long time ago um, and a friend of mine has been telling me to do it and all of a sudden like I just got this really cool like message feeling and I shared it and I was just like the amount of the people that message me about how those small words really move them was kind of moving to me. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to do this every day. Plus a brand sent me an affirmation deck. So, you know, I feel like, you know what? That was a sign for me to share. <laughs> anyway, back to the bag. Um, good for travel? No. <laughs> I would say no to this. It probably, I don't even think, your passport would fit in there. And that's about it though. So, you know, I, I, I say no because I feel like the leather, it does have texture to it. So it won't necessarily scuff. But it's just such a small, cute little fun bag um, that I, I personally wouldn't travel. It could travel, but I wouldn't travel with it. What seasons all year round? Durability, pretty durable with the leather. Why I love it, it's just gorgeous. It's cute. I love the black on black. I do not like this bag in any of the other colors because they've got the bamboo handle. If they had the handle that matched it, then I would probably have more than one. But otherwise, um, yeah, I don't regret buying it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I would recommend it if you need a fun little sexy um, evening bag that can transition from day to night. Love it. On to the next. So when I was even making the list, I was kind of like, this kind of is weird to add this bag to my mini micro list, but this is considered a mini, the mini Jody. What fits in the bag? This bag fits a lot of stuff. Like it fits a good amount of stuff. I can get both my phones in here. I can get my wallet in here. Um, yeah, it fits a lot. So if you need a good little fun bag, go for it. Absolutely. Like, look at that. And it's, I still have more space. There's still more space left in there for more. So it definitely fits a good amount of stuff without necessarily losing its shape. This is the older silhouette of the bag. So I know there is a newer silhouette that kind of doesn't go out like this. It's more circular. Um, I'm not sure if the newer version fits as much. I, I would say it would because even if, you know, you lose those edges, you know, it still fits everything. So it's a great bag in terms of what it can, you know, what fits inside of it. So definitely a great bag that fits a lot of stuff. Um, is it useful or strictly fashion? Extremely useful. Like this bag is such a great bag. Sorry about the light going back and forth. When I move forward, it changes. I'm going to try and stay in one place and talk. Um, but yes, it is definitely a fashion piece but it is actually a very useful piece. Even when I want to be hands-free, you can literally just put it on your arm and that's it. And you forget about it. Like it, it's a great bag. Absolutely great bag. Um, 
It doesn't have a crossbody. No, it does not. But there is a new version of the bag that now has a crossbody chain strap. One of my girlfriends has it. She says she loves it. I have to say I'm not a huge fan of the way the chain looks. And it is removable. So, you know, if you got the new bag and you're not feeling the chain, you can easily take it off. Or if you have it and you want to apply it to another bag, you can do that too. Maybe I'll take her chain and see how I, how I like it on a bag for myself but just looking at it online I'm like yeah I don't know about the chain uh where would I wear it to I would do day and night with this all the time I've worn it to the mall and just kind of you know put it on my arm like this I've also worn it to dinner many times it's a great neutral in this color um but yes it comes in pretty much every color under the sun good for travel nope because I in my opinion and I has as someone who styled some people for years and all of that fun stuff, I would not recommend it has a tra travel bag because you want, when you're traveling, you want your hands free. You want things that will give you ease, that you'll be able to, you know, move your luggage and whatnot. And even though this will stay on your arm, you kind of have to do this to kind of keep it in place, you know, or your, your arm has to be bended. Um, but when you're traveling and you're, you know, you're moving your luggage, it, that won't work. Sorry, I keep on adjusting this little bra strap. <laughs> but yes, yeah, not a good travel bag in my opinion. Um, what seasons can we wear it all year round? It, regardless of the cover, color you um, get the Jodi in, I really do think you can wear it all year round. Is it durable? Absolutely. The intertectile leather finish of the bag just allows it to just mask any kind of dirt or scuffs or whatnot. It is a great bag, a very durable bag. Bottega is known for this finish, and there's a reason why these bags last so long. Like before Bottega was the thing that it is now, you know, this has been their bread and butter for years, and it's that um, inconspicuous luxury, which I love. It's just, or is that the word? I'm, subtle luxury. I think that's a better word, the better term. Anyway, I love the bag, very durable, great bag, easy to wear. Do I regret buying it? Absolutely not. I'm happy I got it when I got it. Um, I think I would probably get another one. Not that I think <laughs> I'd get another one. <laughs> On to the next. Next, we've got the newest addition to, or not the newest, well, I think this was the last addition to my collection. I'm trying to be good. Trying is the key word here, trying. Anywho, it is the Fendi Micro Nano, I think they call it Nano, Nano Baguette. Um, I still have the card in here. Yep, it's the Nano Baguette. <laughs> um, I love this bag. Oh, and it's not just the Fendi, it's the Fendace. So I, tr actually, Eric, Derek did not get all my bags because this one, my sister got this for me in Toronto. I guess it sold out here in the States. So he was, um, my sister was able to get this for me um, in Toronto. All right, so what fits inside the bag? I have my American Express again. That fits in there great with plenty of space. Um, ear pods. It fits. Actually, I thought it was going to make it bulky, but it doesn't. It fits really well. Let's see. Lipstick. So the lipstick standing up. So that's not going to work. So it's probably one of those things where it's like, okay, either lipstick or an AirPod case. So I could probably fit two lipsticks in here or multiple credit cards. And there is another slit. I don't know if, yeah, there's kind of like a slit, you know, side to it. So if I want my credit cards separately, I can put my um, credit card, my ID in there. And then at least two lipsticks will fit in there comfortably and it closes and it's easy. So yes, it does fit a good amount of stuff. Does it have a crossbody? Yes, the crossbody is removable. Where, um, where would I wear it to? I have worn this to many places. I've worn it to a beach party. I've worn it at night. I've worn it to dinner. I've, I've worn it to a lot of different places. Um, so I've worn it day to night easy. Good for travel, not necessarily because nothing really fits unless you just want to have it has... Um, body jewelry i guess or just like a body bag uh what seasons all year round for me durable the leather is definitely a bit um more delicate i think I'm, i i did something either i got water on it but it came off really easy so the leather's good um but yes it's, it's a delicate bag keep that in mind do i regret buying it absolutely not i was on the hunt for this and i was so happy that i got it so i'm obsessed with this bag i love it like love it <laughs> um and yes i know the fendachi stuff is probably sold out across the board however they do make this bag in a variety of different um fabricate fabrics fabrications or whatnot so yeah you can always get your hands on your hands on one on to the next 
All right, next we've got the Bottega Mini Cassette Bag. I was going to say Mini Jody. The Mini Cassette Bag. Um, what fits in the bag? Pretty much, let me see. actually, this one I think fits my whole wallet thingy. Yes, it does. So that fits right in there. However, um, I've got my fob and whatnot. So it still fits. Everything fits in there. And I've, I've carried it this way where I just put this wallet thingy in there and it closes. So that's what fits in the bag. But you can't really get anything else inside. So it occupies everything. Otherwise, you can definitely get multiple credit cards in here. You can get your ear pod case because there is also a slip pocket for your credit card or ID. Um, you can get the lipsticks in there. You can get a good amount of stuff. So definitely we can get a lot in there. Does it have a crossbody? Yes. I like the fact that you can actually fold the strap inside um, if you want to put it on display or if you want to wear it has a clutch. But if you're going to do that, I would fold the strap in first and then not put a lot of stuff in there. Maybe put your credit card on the side and then put like a lipstick or whatnot on top. Um... Where would I wear it to? Oh, day, day, mostly day for me, but this could be, you know, carried has a little clutch, right? Um, so you can easily just put the straps in. It's just the straps take up a lot of space, so keep that in mind if you're getting it for that purpose. But, you know, it's very small, but you can still carry it this way. It has a clutch. Um, good for travel? Not necessarily, unless you wanted to just have your credit cards and your ID separately, then it's good that way. Uh, what season? All year round. I actually got this... Um, to wear with the flash boots, the Bottega flash boots that have that same green. Uh, durable, pretty durable, you know, definitely very durable. Bottega's known for its leather. Do I regret buying it? Um, unfortunately, yes, I do regret buying it only because I bought them, bought this bag strictly to go with the flash boots because I was going to fashion week. Um, and I ended up finding this beauty in Toronto. So I didn't need to buy this if I was patient. <laughs> I, you know, and then I would I, I ended up finding this, but I didn't know I would find this. So that's why I bought it. So um, in hindsight, I love this bag so much that I would get rid of this bag for this bag. So that's the only reason why. But otherwise, it's, it's definitely a functional bag. I've worn it a few different ways. Um, you can wear it for, for Dave mostly, for me at least. On to the next. Okay, so next up is my mini Fendi Sunshine Tone. I love this bag. This was a collaboration with um, an artist, Antonio. I cannot remember his last name. Uh, Antonio Lopez, if I'm correct. Um, and the fact that there was a brown girl on this bag, I was just like, I had to have something at least from the collection. And I'm happy I got this one because it's just such an easy bag. I won't lie, I did kind of forget that I had it because it was like stuck in the back there. So I need to bring it forward. But it's just a great bag. All right, so what fits in the bag? Let's see. We've got... Cell phone one, cell phone two in there. Wallet fits easy. I don't know what I did with my earpods. <laughs> Here they are. Earpods fit, lipstick fits. So this fits a good amount. It's like this fits a lot. Can you see all of that? So you've got the two phones, you've got my wallet on the bottom, you've got two lipsticks, you've got the ear pod. There's no closure or, you know, so everything's open. So I would always say just be careful with a bag like this. And then I've got my hand sanitizer at the back. Um, is it useful or strictly fashion? Very much a fashion bag, but it is also very useful because you can get a good amount of stuff in there. So I love that. Where would I wear it to? I have worn this. I've worn it during fashion week. I've worn it during the day, shopping picking up the kids. I wear it for everything, like literally everything. Day to night, easy. Um, the strap actually does come off, but you could always just tuck the strap in because it's. I think it's a little tedious to put the strap on and on if I'm correct. I may be lying. But I love the top handle option, which makes it a fun dinner bag. It also has feet, so you can definitely take it to dinner. Good for travel? No, because it's open. So I feel like that's like, pick. it's just a red flag. It's like telling pickpocketers, come steal the open bag. But, you know, I did talk about it in my breaking down the Fendi Sunshine Toad. I break down all the different sizes. And if you're going to, you know, go out with it, kind of ways where you can hold it to kind of avoid people trying to put their hands in your um, bag. Um, what season? All year round. Durable. Pretty durable. You've got the canvas, leather, and all that fun stuff. So it is definitely very durable. Why I love it, it's just one of a kind. It's got brown girls on it. It's a beautiful bag. Do I regret buying it? Absolutely not. I've made one of my girlfriends buy it, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have bought it too. So it's a great bag for me. Yay. <laughs>
All right, y'all, last but not least is this little um, Chanel wristlet. Um, it's a beautiful bag. It's a little mini. It's kind of, I think it's, yeah, it's actually smaller than, smaller than the mini classic flap or the mini flap. So yeah, it's pretty small. What fits in this bag? I would say my cell phone, wallet, but of course I have to show you guys what fits in the bag. I think, I don't know why, why did I think that? No, so that's funny. Yeah, it's smaller than that one. So the big cell phone does not fit. Small cell phone fits. It's a tight fit, but it does fit. Earpods fit. Let's see if the wallet fits. And another thing with these small bags, when you're trying to fit stuff in it, you just have to be, I think, in my opinion, you just have to be a little strategic on how you put stuff in there to get things in. But my wallet, wallet fits. I had to take the AirPod out. Um, I do think there's space for a lipstick as well, especially since it's a dinner bag. You want to fit one lipstick in there. So I got one lipstick in there, my wallet, and my cell phone. And it closes, and we're good to go. Is it useful or strictly fashion? It's definitely useful because it fits a good amount of things and you can take it to dinner. You also have the wristlet option. So, you know, it's kind of hands-free. Um, I love it because I feel like I can dance. I can, you know, have a drink. I, you know, I can do whatever I need to do with hands-free and then the bag is here and then it also has the arm candy. So it is definitely a fashion piece, but it's also very useful. It does not have a crossbody, unfortunately, but um, you know, not all bags are meant to have crossbodies. And I am a crossbody girl, but I really love this. I love the fact that I can just throw it on and I'm good. Um, definitely not a good travel bag. It's more of a dinner bag. I would definitely wear it really to dinner. I've never worn this bag during the day at all, just because I don't feel like it's a day bag, it's a dinner bag. Um, what seasons all year round durability not bad you know not bad I love the pearlized leather so that kind of helps mask any kind of dirt also because I'm just kind of wearing it to dinner or evening events I feel like you know the likeliness of it getting ruined are a little slim do I regret buying it absolutely not I bought this in New York on the way back from Finland um, and I'm so happy I bought it it's a great bag I've worn it a lot it looks great with my um you guys can't see it but I've got these lilac Versace platforms and it's a great bag because it's got the lilac it's got green um it's got a little bit of yellowish pearlized green yellow so it's a really versatile bag i love bags that feature more than one color because that means i can wear it a lot more and i really get my cost per wear so love 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 no regrets <laughs>
ridiculous how much it is for the size and I I know I know it's so much harder to make smaller bags and I've explained this to so many people in the past but sometimes I just can't get over it and I figured you know what a good way for me to justify it if I bought it in Paris where it's a lot less expensive so my next trip to Paris that will probably be the bag that I I buy hopefully they have it and hopefully they have a color that moves me but it's an absolutely stunning bag I love the Lady Dior bag um, uh, next one that I want is the Balenciaga mini city bag my girlfriend had it when we were in Miami and she let me use it for a photo shoot and I was just like I really love this bag plus I got a pair of Balenciaga boots that have that same detail oh they're gorgeous um, so yeah I definitely want that bag um, the fourth bag that I'm coveting um, the Fendi Fendigraphy bag um, I, I saw it, I remember when it came out, I think Monroe bought it, Monroe, if you're not, I'm following, um, Monroe Steele, make sure you follow her, she's absolutely amazing. We were in New York during Fashion Week this past February and she bought that, and then Naseha from the Yusufs also got it in gold when we were at the store, no, um, Monroe got it the day before, Naseha got it in gold, and I was just like, I wanted it, but I just bought a gold bag, <laughs> and I just bought, like, I bought, you know when you don't need something, but in my head I'm trying to justify it, so I really want that bag, someone actually just messaged me, um, on YouTube that, you know, when am I going to get that bag? And I'm like, I'm going to get it. I just need to find the right one for me and the right color. I've seen the line sheets for what's coming out in, in, um, for the fall, winter, and I'm not sure if I love any of the ones that I've seen, but it's definitely a bag that I would, it's so me. It is so, so me. And I've got the straps already, the gold strap that I can put on and different straps from Fendi that I can wear it. So eventually I will get that bag. Okay, so... The bags I will not touch. Like I said in the beginning, no offense to anyone who has these bags. I've seen them on people and I actually admire them, but it's just not for me. Um, first up, the Fendi Hourglass. Sorry, not Fendi. Talking too much about Fendi. The Balenciaga Hourglass bag. I do not like the bag. Um, I've tried to like it. I, I've even had an opportunity to get it at a discounted price. And I just don't. There's something about the bag that just gives me borderline inexpensive, not worth it. The silhouette has no longevity for me as far as I see it. So even though I'm, I like trendy stuff and all of that, I still like to make purchases, especially at that price point where they make sense for me. Um, and it just doesn't make sense for me. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay, another one that I will not get is the Dior Mini Caro. Uh, I know a lot of people love the bag. I just cannot get on board. You know, even my Dior people are like, you don't love it, I'm just like, I just can't get with it. I tried and it's just not for me. It just does nothing for me. Nothing at all, unfortunately. Um, then the next one that I do not love is the Gucci Diana, Dionys, Dionys? I, I don't even know how to pronounce it. One of my dear friends has it. I'm just not a fan of the bag. I even bought one once, I did. And I had to return it just, there's something about that bag that I just don't like. Um, I just don't like it. I don't like the way it looks. I know it's been around for a long time and it's kind of a classic for Gucci, but there's just something about the bag that I've tried because I tried, but I'm just like, no, I got to I got to give it back. Um, so that is just one of the mini bags that I just will not touch. Last but not least, it's the Nether Gucci, um, Balenciaga bag and it is the Balenciaga extra small cuggles. I, I, I'm sure I'm even pronouncing it wrong. I'm sorry. Apologies in advance. Um, it's such a fashion piece and it's kind of cool looking, but there's something about that silhouette, that half moon silhouette that I hate. <laughs> and I don't use the word hate. I try not to use the word hate, especially when it comes to fashion, but I just don't like that silhouette. Dior has a few bags that are not necessarily mini bags in that same silhouette. Even Fendi's coming out with bags in that silhouette. And I've said no to all of them. I just don't see longevity with that type of silhouette. It's not symmetric. And I think for me, I just, the bags just have to work. But yeah, they, those just don't work for me. Um, if you have them, I will admire them on you. Just not for me. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. Um, those are my mini bags that I love. I do have a few more, but I just did not want this video to be too long, so I just wanted to focus on those top tens. Um, let me know which mini bags you're coveting. Let me know what you think about the ones that I have with your comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you are not subscribed to my channel, guys, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, hit that notification bell. It takes you nothing. 
no, not that it takes you nothing. It costs you nothing, but it means the world to me. Um, if you're watching this on a TV, I think if you click on my face and there's a drop button or something like that, and then you can subscribe that way. Let me know if that works. I hope that's right. <laughs> but anywho, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram. It's odd by Moni for tons of style inspiration between these videos on Instagram and TikTok, as well as my website, oddbymonica.com. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah! Love you guys. Till the next one. Hey!